thank you guys for coming. We have Aaron Kruger McCash. Hello. Who has awesome credits like American Horror Story yeah. and Glee yes. and Nip Tuck mm -hmm. and Slave Girls from Beyond. Ooh, wow. Infinity. Slave from Girls Beyond from Infinity. Infinity. Don't forget. That was we also have Bart Mixon. Yay. From Stephen King's It, the original RoboCop. Yes. The good, one, the good one. The Men in Black series, the Hellboy series, Fantastic Four series. That's right. Steve Prouty, the Bad Grandpa, which is the big business yes. right now. Yes. Big business. Nominated for Academy Award. Um, Zombieland, Oz yeah. Great and Powerful. Storm and Norman Cabrera, the Hellboy 1 and 2. Men in Black 3, Gremlins 2. What else? Cabin in the Woods. Fright Night 2. Fright Night 2. I worked on Fright Night 2 with Bart. You guys worked together. I worked on Stephen it with King's Bart. It. So the three of us actually probably met for the first time on Gremlins 2. I met, no, I no? met Bart at uh, John Beekler's shop. Oh. Okay. Yep, we met there. You worked at Beekler's? I was visiting. I think uh, he was visiting. He was visiting. <laughs> I went there. I did work for I John the shop in girl. 81 on Forbidden World. I thought I was the only one, I think I am the only one that never worked for John Beekler. I never worked for John Beekler. No, 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 it's no. a great place to learn. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And, and I always wanted to work for John Beekler. Low budget uh, stuff. I mean, they crank that stuff out. Yeah. You know, I, mean, they, I did eight months, in, eight films in eight months. Yeah. yeah. Good I mean, place to learn. The type of shop where you, you know, have like a day to turn something around, you know, yeah. whereas like at Rick's, you know, we did Gremlins 2 and what, we were on that for a year and a half or 18 months, like yep. And that was the first movie that I met you on, right? No, Gorillas in the Mist. Oh, Gorillas in the Mist. Out of yeah. all your credits <laughs> that, that when I first started working with you, I, when you said you worked on summer school, I was like, yeah, <laughs> I'm <working laughs> summer school out of anything. It was summer school because that, that was a cool A lot movie. of people like, like that movie. I mean, it's a fun, a goofy good. 80s movie yeah. and it's like, and it was written for makeup effects geeks, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. It was originally written for Tom Savini, but for some reason they couldn't get Tom Savini. No kidding. I'm not exactly no. sure why. And for whatever reason, they changed it to Rick. But then what's weird is the two kids are actually these kind of gore hounds. So it would make more sense that they would be into Tom Savini. Right. Mm -hmm. right. But nevertheless, uh, they That's got true. Rick. I always kind of thought that. I was like, That's, Rick's not really a gore guy. What no, yeah. So, this makes no sense. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm out of The here. audience didn't care, I suppose. But they got Rick uh, to be the guy they talk about in the script. And so uh, me and a guy named Lauren Githens, you know Lauren, right? Yeah. You guys remember yeah. Lauren? Mm -hmm. um, so Rick let me and Lauren like do all the the goofy gore effects that are in the movie. And that is super The cool. pencil in the pencil eye. The eye, the ruler, the ruler in the mouth, in the mouth yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Actually, the funniest thing about it was uh, uh, they let us art direct the kids' rooms, yeah. which oh, was right. really fun. Oh, because that's so cool. We brought all our posters and we brought all our masks and stuff like that. And there's this one scene where the kid's doing his homework and he's wearing a, a Uncle Creepy mask on his head. <laughs> well, that mask was actually a mask that I made when I was a teenager. That was Salton. super cool. Yeah, it was fun. You, did you work at Rick's? Yeah. Yeah. Invader? Uh, oh, yeah. Invader. Yeah. Oh, God. I Invader was the that first Australian thing I did. Bug TV yeah. thing. Bug movie. I worked on um, Moonwalker, the, oh, yeah. uh, when Michael Jackson turns into the, uh, into yeah, the jet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I did mostly mold making yeah. and then um, did a little bit of finishing work, but I mostly was mold, in the mold shop. Right. But I worked there for about a year. Back in that day, it was, it was a boys club. I mean, it kind of still is a boys club, it's right? It's not as bad. I mean, there's a lot, more, bad. Women yeah, a lot, a more, lot women more women now. Yeah, a lot more women now. But in that time, yeah. I mean, it was it was. I think the rare. only person that was like, had been there longer, like as far as um, already established were v was V, Neil, mm -hmm. and Michelle Burke. Mm -hmm. They were kind of like doing all that stuff. And then, Jill Rockout? And, well, Jill Rockout and Camille and I were all kind of... Oh, the next tier. Kind of, yeah, a oh, okay. little bit um, younger. Not by much. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> Not by much. Not by much. But I mean, they were already established, and we were just right. kind of like, and Camille had been doing it a little longer than I had been. What was it like? Did you catch a lot of shit? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, back then, it was a lot of like Hustler and Wee magazines in the bathroom. And you just kind of <laughs> got a little bit, you got, you were flexible and you just kind of rolled with it. Because if you didn't, then you, they were like, well, yeah, you're the only girl we've ever had here. We don't need you here anymore. And that kind of, that kind of happened a little bit. Mm -hmm. I thought it was cool to have girls in the shop. It was, you know, like yeah. every once in a while a girl would be working there, like you or somebody, and it was like, it changed the dynamic of it. Yeah. You know, I Everybody thought it was, was a scared of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking like, what, 85-ish to 89-ish, right? Yeah. A lot of us got in the, around, around yeah. the same time. Yeah. Well, why do you so, think it was that time, though, there was such an influx of people interested? That. My thing was, I, uh, back in the 80s, I was in Atlanta. And I was doing makeup at CNN, making up news anchors when I was like 17, still going to high school, and awesome. working on these 
crap low budget movies and I was like 88, 89, I said, that's it, I gotta move west, you know? It's like, if I wanna do this as a career, I have to go where this is actually being done, you know? I think what really kicked it off was Star Wars, I think, for mm -hmm. a lot of people, mm -hmm. because the cantina scene with all those great masks that Rick and, and all his guys did, uh, those things were mind-blowing. You know, for the time, you see that cantina sequence, and it's just like, this is really cool. I mean, That was this ma thing. mainstream, like, yeah. Star Wars was mainstream. You might have, like, saw stuff you know, you're doing the Saturday creature feature stuff, like where you had, you know, you were seeing the War of the Gargantuans or the Hammer films and stuff, oh, which yeah. is what I was watching, like in the middle of the day. I guess my parents were not, what were they doing? <laughs> <laughs> they were kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah we we're going to go do this. Um, which is totally awesome, by the way, that you were into Yeah, and my features. brother, my, yeah, my brother was a huge makeup effects geek, which is, I think, how that I got to see a lot of that stuff because I don't think I would have been necessarily like, um, as focused on it, because I didn't have it, I wasn't a, had access to any of that. Mm -hmm. But when my brother did, then I was just like, "Woo! This is mm -hmm. oh so cool!" So you know, getting lumped into seeing Star Wars and everything just you know, blew your mind. Rick Baker won that first Academy Award for makeup and the makeup effects in that movie was so amazing. That was the moment that I was like, "Oh, you can do this for a living, and you can actually yeah, make money at it." Because I remember I wanted to do it. And I went to my guidance counselor. I remember I had a meeting with my guidance counselor. And my guidance <laughs> yep. counselor high was like, yep. I, it, it, was, it was before high school. You want to do really? junior high. It was, and he goes, what, so what do you want to do for, what, what do you want to do, Chris? And I go, well, I want to do makeup effects. I want to make monsters. And he goes, <laughs> that's not a real job. Yeah, exactly. He literally no, laughed. Exactly. Really. So yeah. That's not a real job. No, it's true. And I was like, no, it is. People do it for a living and it's super cool and you can go and you can make monsters and you can make movies and it's great. And he goes, okay, let's start thinking about some other things. How about college prep? And he's, you know, got all yeah, the papers see, and stuff. And then, garbage man. And exactly. <laughs> and then literally, I think it was that exact same year that Rick Baker won the Academy Award, and I remember going into my guidance counselor and going, ha ha, <laughs> see, you can achieve you know, greatness with this career and stuff, and, and it changed everything. That changed and everything. also that's, and then Thriller, of course, was a little oh, bit Thriller later. Was that was answer. like, I would drive home from school, I'd recorded it on, you know, on MTV, and I'd go home every, every day at school, I'd go home and watch it. I came home from lunch from yep. work. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when they ran a 24-hour marathon yeah. of the oh, making yeah, of yeah, thrillers yeah. They did. on MTV, yeah. and I just sat there like mesmerized, and it would finish, and I would just keep watching. I'd mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. watch it again, and watch it again. Me too. Got to talk about Rob Bottin, because I'm such a huge Rob Bottin mm. fan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just gonna say, like, actually, what were Meg Mucklebones. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, that was one of those ones during that time, like high school, where yep. like. My mom and dad would take me to like, they wouldn't let me go see some movies, but they took me to see like Blade Runner and they took me to see Legend. Mm. And um, I mean, my God, that was like phenomenal. And then yeah. Mucklebones was just like, I just was, uh, uh, and I got to work with Robert Picardo years later mm -hmm. on Sabrina. Right. And then He's we crazy. shot in his house and I was trying desperately, as I'm doing his makeup, just trying not to be. But my yeah. Sabrina, who played Sabrina, Melissa Joan Hart, I had told her like, oh my God, you guys are gonna play in this room, like knuckle bones, and that's on, and inner space, and they're all, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I was just like going on and on, and Melissa was like, mm. oh yeah. So I was like, oh, so excited. I, just, I'm, 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 I can't even stand it, I'm gonna do his makeup. So I go in and I'm like, He's doing his makeup, being real calm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Melissa comes in, she goes, she's your biggest fan. She just loves <laughs> the witch makeup and legend. And I was like, oh, my God. And he was like, oh, we just did a 25th anniversary behind the scenes thing, this whole big documentary. And I was just like, yeah. So he talked to me for like 45 minutes. Oh, yeah. About, and he's like, he's a really cool guy. Oh, you remember him on Gremlins 2? That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. He was on Gremlins 2. I mean, what a great guy. Yeah. Like, yeah. couldn't be more, like, amazing to have that come yeah. back and be able to meet him and have him talk about Meg Mucklebones and how he almost sure. drowned and the suit was like so heavy and he could barely get up out mm -hmm. of the water. And We don't geek, geek over these like mega ultra superstars <laughs> yeah. that, that, that come in. We geek out over these monster guys, you know, oh, yeah. like, Ro like Robert Picardo. I get a ton of people come up to me all the time and go, if I wanted to be a makeup effects artist, what do I gotta do? If you were 16 or 17 right now, wouldn't you want to go on that show and show your stuff? Can't you melt a box of rubber gloves and make a mask? <laughs> He's like, no, that's not the way it works. You know? Then finally, when I shut up for four seconds, the guy at the end of the trailer is like, um, I, 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 I've got Tourette's. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Was just like, so you plop down your big box of unlubricated condoms, your box of rubber gloves, and your, your box of KY jelly, and you have to say, 
It's for work. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs>